Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rust Belt Collector here. Today I'm looking at a uh, custom that I recently finished. Did this for a contest over on Instagram and thought I would show it off a little bit on here, do a bit of a showcase, and then I'd also go over a little bit of how I pieced it together and some of the painting techniques that I used to get the final result that you see here. So the contest was to build a custom bounty hunter. Um, it was called Hashtag Bounty Hunter Build Off, and so you had to build a original bounty hunter. It couldn't be an existing one or like a background character. It had to be completely original and then create like a backstory, things like that, and post it on Instagram. So that's what I did with this guy. I built him, you know, as an original character, built this, uh, or I can't say built, but I took this speeder bike and I customized it to just go with him as the character I designed. I called this guy the deserter and left his backstory a little bit of a mystery in the sense that this was, in my head, um, in my design, he was like a trooper. No one knew if he was a stormtrooper or a clone trooper that had gone rogue because he kind of borrowed kit from both. Um, part of the design was to include the DC-15 blaster, DC-17 uh, commander pistol, and then also to have him using Imperial Tech to kind of make him a mishmash. You know, it's during the time of the Empire and he's pulling from different elements to create his armor. He's got the Imperial Bike Scout helmet and such, but he's also using clone tech and so the other bounty hunters always wondered what his backstory was. Now to create this figure, uh, it was actually kind of by chance that I just happened to have this Bike Scout helmet as fodder as well as this uh, Cassian Andor body that I just wasn't using for anything and just on a whim, I was like, well, I wonder if they'll fit, and like without modification, I wonder if this head would fit on the peg for Cassian's body, and they popped on perfectly. So if you're ever doing a custom similar to this, you're using the Cassian body, the Bike Scout head, they fit on without modification. It's a like a complete purist build to just pop the head onto this body. Apart from that, I didn't do a whole lot to his body. I liked the way that it was. Um, I did a black wash over it to give some more detail and to make it look a little bit more grimy. I did some wraps here on the foot as well as on the hands. And that was just using like the hockey tape, you know, like a, like grip tape. Just cut some small strips and wrapped it around there nicely and then added some super glue just to make sure that it would stay. And then for his ammo belt here, I used parts from a clone trooper belt, uh, Captain Rex's in particular with the DC-17 blaster here and some of the ammo pouches and such. This ammo belt here is from Bosk. Uh, it's one. Of, it's like his waist belt. And then all of these elements are attached just onto some more of that grip tape that just wraps around. Originally this whole bandolier was completely removable, but once I added this shoulder pad element, um, it actually contacts up here and then kind of just sticks to the shoulder just a little bit to give it less a chance of breaking off basically. But as you can see here, there's a loose shoulder pad. I attached it using the same tape again, just so that you don't lose any kind of range of articulation there. The shoulder pad can just move freely on its own. The emblem there that you see is actually a group of creators that I was a part of that all decided to add a guild emblem and create like their own bounty hunter guild. So. This was the Bounty Hunter Guild that was designed by some creators over on Instagram, and I just added it here on my figure. As you can see, there's just some cool color patterning that I tried to do with the helmet. Um, did some like teal blue down along the chin, and it goes all the way around, and then did the visor all in more of a dark red. I really like how that turned out. And, and yeah, that about does it for the figure as it stands. Uh, really quick, I'll show you that I did make a little, uh, I forget what these are called, just like a tracking beacon, basically from like the Mandalorian show, if you've seen that. This is really simple. I just took a little bit of plastic and glued it onto this piece. This base piece came off of some three and three quarter inch figure, I forget. Uh, put some wire into it just there, and there you go, a little tracking beacon. It's different than the one in... Uh, the Mandalorian, and that was intentional. I designed it to be this bounty hunter's personal tracking beacon that he uses um, because in the lore that I built for him, he doesn't trust the guild's trackers and he feels that that one is more uh, accurate as he's tracking down bounties. 
Now for his blaster, I designed this DC-15 sniper rifle or like a precision rifle. This is just using the Black Series uh, DC-15, some fabric wraps that are glued on and then washed to give them that grimy look to them. And then the scope is kind of kit bashed together from several different pieces. Mostly, I think, some three and three quarter inch figure uh, blasters that I just cut up and pieced back together to make this and then painted it to all fit in with the character. And then as you saw before, I did make it so that it would fit back into here like so. And he could carry that on his on his back while he's riding the speeder or or what have you. Now taking a look at the speeder, I tried to do a lot of different stuff with this, uh, some very new techniques for me that I wasn't really familiar with, and so this was kind of trial and error, but I think that it turned out pretty well. I'm, I'm very happy with it. This is just the Black Series uh, speeder bike, the Scout Trooper speeder bike. No real modification was made to it apart from I did some fabric wrapping up here with glue around the, uh, the front stem. The glue is just to keep the fabric in place, and then, you know, I did a wash over the fabric to, again, give it that grimy, dirty look to it. Here, I did a little strap, again, with the same tape, and um, I think this pouch is from, like, a 1 12th scale, or, sorry, 1 6th scale, like, World War II figure. Um, and then, apart from that, it's really just paint job that I did. Um, obviously, you can see I painted the one spoiler yellow, the other one a teal color, and then the front scoop here I did in red. And then also I used, for the first time actually, the Vallejo Rust Weathering Kit. Um, it's a paint wash kit that you can get on Amazon or what have you, and that's how I created all this streaking to make it look like the metal on this speeder is rusted, it's aged, and it's just leaking. It, uh, the way rust does on like a car or something, is it'll streak the way down like that and so yeah that was just the idea behind it I tried to do my best with it but I'd never used the rust kit before so yeah this was my first time using the rust kit uh, it took a little bit of learning to understand how exactly you got to layer it and to make it really look realistic I don't know if I did a perfect job really but I tried my best and I definitely want to experiment with it more on other customs but I am happy with how it turned out on this particular vehicle, and I'll try it again on some in the future. I highly recommend that kit though, it's, it just works really well with this. Um, it's fairly affordable and it applies really nicely, very smoothly, and as you can see, the results are really quite nice. So if you are into weathering your vehicles or your characters, I would suggest that one. So that about wraps up this video, guys. I hope you liked the look at this custom figure I designed. I posted up some like glamour shots over on my Instagram, so if you're interested in taking a look at those, the link to that will be down in the description. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing to the channel. I do appreciate all of you guys that have done so. If you liked this video, I would love it if you would hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in your feed on the regular. Got some more bootleg videos coming up, got some more reviews, all that good stuff. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.